You know, I often wonder if John Frusciante knows that he has made many a guitarist cry in the corner of their room as they attempt to try to play the song Snow. It is a very difficult song, especially if you want to sing along with it. Uh, so what I've done today is created a more accessible acoustic version. Uh, but we will be looking at that classic riff. Uh, so we're going to learn how to play that. But what I do is I use it as an intro. And then we can use the chords uh, just to strum and sing along with, which is a little bit easier, all right? Now, you can skip the intro if you like. It depends on your level. It is very fast-paced, uh, but we're going to have a go anyway. Even if you're just a beginner, try this out, all right? And keep on going at it, because that's how you'll get better. Anyways, let's just fire right into it. So, we're going to look at the intro first, okay? So, um... We've got a capo on the 4th fret, which means we can use uh, basic open chords to play the song. Normally we've got a G sharp minor, uh, an E, a B, and an F sharp. But we can use the E minor chords, the C, the G, and the D, to play this song if we've got a capo on the 4th fret. Okay, so the riff uh, sounds something like this. What we're going to do to break it down is we're going to go chord by chord, okay? So we've got an E minor uh, shape first, okay? And we're going to go... Okay, so we've got A, D, G, back to the D, okay? Then we're hammering on and pulling off the G. Back to the D, and then the G again, all right? So... Now, alternate picking is kind of required to play the song fast, but it depends. If you want to do a slow version, then you can get away without it. So for the C, so the next chord we've got a C. We're going, again, we're going to do the same thing. We're going down, two, three, back up, and then hammer on, pull off the G. Okay. And then um, we bring our finger back onto the D and get the G open, right? Okay, then we're going to get into the G chord. Okay, same thing, except we're starting from the, uh, the low E. Down, two, three, up. And again, this time we're hammering on and pulling off the D. Back to A. And open on the D, right? Okay. And then, instead of going into the D chord like this, to get the correct notes, what we're going to need to do is get the open D. Right, open D. Uh, four in the D. Two in the G. And back to four in the, the D again, right? And then we're going to hammer on and pull off from two to four. On the G. Back to four in the D. Back to two on the G. So, so far that goes like this, nice and slow. So the next time round, we do the exact same thing for the first three chords. And then, uh, for the final, uh, for the D, this time we're going to come up to the second fret, and we are going to get to one. Right, we're going to go down, two, three, back, right? So two, open, open, open. Hammer on, two, on the... Um, the D, back to two, on the uh, the A, and then open on the D. Okay, so <clears throat> uh, that is it for the intro. So again, uh, you can take it at your own pace. You can speed it up to whatever suits you. Again, we're really creating an acoustic version. It's accessible to you that you can play. So to strum the chords, I do something like this.
All right, so basically we have an E minor, right? Okay, so we're just going. Okay, that's kind of rhythm. And I use hammer-ons when I'm going into the chords, which I think sounds nice. So what I mean by that is I strum and then go into the chord legs. So. Okay, so the chords we're using E minor, C, G, D. Second time round, E minor, G, uh, sorry, E minor, C, G, and this time I'm using D with an F sharp bass. And make sure I get that first, all right? So again. And then into the next part, uh, which is a G. D, then E minor. Again. Strong. And that is it, okay, so you've got all the different sections of the song, you've got the riff, uh, you've got the, the verse, the chorus, and the bridge. And it's really up to you, the kind of version that you make for this. Again, I use the riff as the intro, and then I, I strum the rest so that I can sing along with it and not make a fool of myself. So guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. Please uh, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe. I'm on my way to 1,000 subscribers. So every subscriber means a lot. Every time you push that button, I get all happy inside. So please uh, do that if you would like to see more videos from me. Anyways, that's it. Take it easy and I'll see you soon with a new lesson.